Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Today we have a new topic. It's about refuting the false rabbi uh, who claim to be a rabbi of the Jews. Uh, in the front of us, uh, this is a video uh, supposedly uh, made according to the uh, page is posted in uh, by the Jews. However, uh, it is spread by Muslims. All right. Now I can understand how the um, you know the Antichrist they join forces together, but doesn't mean that all the Jews uh, they join Islam in to be you know against Christ. In the front of us, there is a very false teaching as a video, and I'm going to show you. I apologize, my voice is tired. You know, uh, I'm going to show you how we can refute those false rabbi very easy. Uh, I will play the video from the beginning. And I encourage every one of you to download it and share it with your friends. Missionaries claim that Jesus fulfilled over 300 or over 600 prophecies. <laughs> Don't get excited by that number. As a matter of fact, when I speak to missionaries directly, we have conversations. I'll say to them, look, let's be honest with each other. How many prophecies do you really believe Jesus fulfilled? And they'll say in moments of honesty, well, maybe 10, maybe 20. <laughs> this is exactly what we hear from Muslims. They say, I was in a taxi and I saw a, a Christian uh, a bishop and I asked him, do you think God, he liked to have uh, children and have kids? He said, yes, God, he liked to have kids. I mean, this is conversation in the private, let us be honest. I mean, this is a stupid, false lie. Christian missionary they say to you let us be honest so you so the Christian missionary they are agreeing that they are lying and now it is the moment of honesty in the front of your majesty I mean try to create a better lie but you know you are a businessman and let us get you busted let us get into the business Psalm 22 verse 16 for dogs have compassed me the assembly of the wicked have enclosed me <laughs> They pierced my hands and my feet. Obviously, the Christian immediately thinks about the crucifixion of Jesus. Look at the Jewish translation. Ka'ari, like a lion, your die viraglai, my hands and my feet. I'm claiming that the word ka'ari means like a lion. The Christian says, no, ka'ari means they pierced. If you have a word in the Bible and you're not clear what it means, the simplest thing to do is, Go to every other place that word appears, right? And see what it means there. Isaiah chapter 38, 13. Like a lion, he breaks all my bones. Ka'ari. All right, let us get him busted. The first method we will do to get this person busted is very simple. You know, the same as I do with Muslims, I do with the Jews. It doesn't matter who you are. If we replace the sentence in the front of us, instead of saying, they have pierced. Let's make it clear. If we take this sentence off and then we replace it with the word like a lion, what that sentence will be, what that verse will be, nothing is going to be useless, meaningless, and actually that will turn the word into stupid meaning. It's going to look like Quran, mean nothing. So let us change. Let us change diverse meaning from what it is to what he claim Kari is like a lion all right so now they circle me hmm? those people they surround him and you know like the enemies and now like a lion my hands and my feet what does that mean and you will notice right away they did not show you the rest and this is exactly what the muslims do by the way if you remember the Muslims when they make a verse as an example they make a, a claim about what is called the miracle of the Quran they don't show you the rest of the verse because then you will see that the, 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 what you did now I mean okay so now we put it like a lion so where is the meaning what does that mean nothing what they will not say to you that the book the book they are reading themselves the Jews is a translation it is a translation let me show you Uh, <clears throat> this is a Jewish 
Judaism takes a change form and those are the scholars answering the Jews each other okay Hebrew some differ from Hebrew etc even etc read with me so then they say some was translated from the Egyptian into the Aramaic first first from what from the Egyptian into the Aramaic so you you yourself you are reading translation so how you say to me go and let us see what the Jewish translation say same time soon I will go and see the Jewish translation I will get you busted and I will show everybody that you are a liar you see there's two words are very close to each other and the translator always translate based on the meaning not based on the literal uh, uh, word which mean because a word the same word can be something here and can be something there so to deceive you they say to you well in the Jewish translation in the Jewish translation if we go and see in the Jewish translation we will find the following so what I did actually I made a video before this one and I decided to delete it because I want to get him busted from the Jewish translation I said to myself why I don't show the people what the Jewish translation is so I looked for a Jewish translation and I found the following let us go this is Jewish 100% Jewish virtual library this is not a Christian this is not a Christian website this is not um, uh, people who believe in the Messiah as uh, the, the Jesus the Christ this is a Jewish uh, website this is a pure Jewish this is what they claim and this is their translation from the Hebrew to English all right and this is the book we are talking about chapter 22 verse number 16 this guy he said in our Jewish translation it appear as a lion now this is your Jewish translation it says of the wicked have enclosed me they pressed my hands and my feet so why this guy he is giving us a false information saying in our Jewish translation what they will not tell you that some of the Jews some of them they don't agree with the meaning but this is a few people of the Jews who try to fight Christianity. This is was, you know, the same as Sahih al-Bukhari for the Muslims. It was always okay. It was always approved. It was already or, or, always Sahih. But now we have a problem. Muhammad got busted. So now they got busted. And Jesus Christ is the Messiah. And they don't want to believe in the Messiah. So now we have a problem. This verse here. It looked like it is exactly about the Messiah for this is exactly what happened to him so in only way for us to reject it to say oh it doesn't mean that but that is not the case because as you see this is Jewish translation so the hypocrisy and the lies is beyond uh, 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 what you can imagine and those people always they try to play with the doubt of your mind and the doubt of your belief and faith and those people, by the way, all those rabbis you see, they teach not in Israel, they teach in countries like the Philippines, Indonesia, for Asian only. What they are trying to do, they will not dare to convert people to Judaism in Indonesia because this is a Muslim country. As uh, actually in the same video, they have uh, Toriva Singer, the guy who got them busted many times. So, what they are trying to do, they are trying to increase the population of Jews by converting people in Asia into Judaism. But the only way for those people to do that, as an example, in the Philippines, those are Christian, most of them they are Catholic. So how we can convince them that you are following the, the, the wrong, the Messiah? Then we have to come with false questions and answers. And this is how they do it. As you see, this is their Jewish website. This is Jewish translation. And we can go and see, or read in Hebrew, you will see that always is coming this way. Now, you can see there's tons and articles speaking about this that there's two words are so close and etc but that will not change anything that this sentence if you change it to what you are saying mean nothing if I change it from pierced my we stop there like they 
pierced then we make it like lion then we say my hands my feet that's mean you are stupid and you are fooling yourself for how in the world God will say such a stupid thing what does that mean my hand my feet what is that so they lie about the correct translation they lie saying that in the Jewish translation it doesn't say so they lie about everything trusting one thing that you will believe that they are a real rabbi and because they speak Hebrew so we have to trust them so if you are a naive person you will not go and check out and see if this is true or not and actually I made a video before this one but I decided to take it off because I said to myself let me use the why I did not use their Jewish uh, translation and see if this guy is even being honest so always don't take what people says to you it doesn't matter who are they don't take what people says to you there's liars everywhere and the Messiah he called them by the names they deserve he said to them if you are of your father Abraham you do the work of your father but what your father is the devil then the second part of the video I hope I did answer this part if, uh, if, if there is anyone who don't understand really what I said let me know all right so in the second part of the of the video they got they got another uh, uh, Abdul he's a Jewish Abdul this time and he said the following and let us laugh together and by the way we can show you hold on let me let us do this uh, you see this is the Jewish this is a Jewish pure pure Jewish this is a pure Jewish and this is what the word Ka'ari ka mean it means dig and it is a verb if this word come as a noun is going to mean a different thing if it come as a verb is going to mean a different thing every language have its own rules so they try to fool you says okay let's see what this word mean in different verse that can work in certain language it doesn't work in certain language and for me I just saved the time why when I waste my time I went to the Jewish the Jewish not the Christian Jewish not the Christian Masonic Jew I went to the Jews and I saw what the translation is and we got them busted so now if we go to the part two in the video we will find the second lie let us see what is the second lie this why this guy we got him busted so let us move to the second idiot here all right translations render it as like a lion like a lion One interesting text that they do cite is the notion of the virgin birth there is indeed a prophecy in isaiah that talks about the alma conceiving and giving birth to a child in point of fact that is not the hebrew word for virgin the hebrew word for virgin is bitula alma actually means a young woman and it does not connote whether it's a virginal state or not. And it's not even a messianic prophecy. It is not talking about either the virgin birth, nor is it even talking about the ultimate Messiah. The final text, though, is they do talk about... Like, oh, they, hold on, just Allah wait. Actually just wait. ...conceiving. Indeed, a prophecy in Isaiah that talks... Okay, he just said, indeed, indeed, there is a prophecy in Isaiah. Indeed, it is a prophecy. Take a note. So this is a prophecy. A prophecy when we say the word a prophecy what does that mean it means something never happened before something will happen in the future something never happened before and something will happen in the future now let us see what he will say next it's about the alma the alma according to this guy saying that the alma is giving birth what is the alma he is saying it is not virgin it's mean a young woman conceiving and giving birth to a child in point of fact that is not the hebrew word for virgin the hebrew word for virgin is betula the, Alma. the fact the word betula is coming from the aramaic which is betul and the betul it's not necessarily not necessarily about uh, virginity uh, of sex virginity here the, the betul is someone is a pure it is uh, the purity all right however it means virgin too now alma 
it mean look with me what he say alma mean a young woman virgin is bitula alma actually means a young woman all right so now we are going to do the same what we did with the but with the other uh, idiot we are going to take this word here out the word version and we are going to replace it with the word alma according to him which is uh, the word young woman young woman all right so now we are we are done with this and let us replace it and guys focus with me carefully and let us see show you how you always the same we, the same method with dust with we got the abdul busted we got those liars busted what the lord say the lord therefore the lord himself will give you a sign will give you what will give you a sign so focus with me here with the word a sign what sign mean what a sign mean sign mean a miracle all right and he said this is why i told you to focus on the word prophecy he said this is a prophecy when we say a prophecy it is about something will happen in the future and something is unknown when we say the word sign it means it is something considered equal to a miracle not something happen every day otherwise this is not a sign so now if we replace the word as he said from the version to young women young women shall conceive and bear a son bear a son this is not a this is not a miracle there is young women they give it's a woman did he say women yeah did, did, did this did this idiot he said a woman this did this idiot says the word women or i am the one who said that the second you say that to women it's mean it's possible for any woman to have a child it's she's a woman like if it says if it says young child will bear a ch uh, uh, give birth that will be a miracle for it's a child but you just said young woman <laughs> So what is the sign? Where is the miracle? I mean, those people, they are out of their mind. They are desperately trying to find a solution. Those verses are clearly speaking about Jesus. So now let us replace it with the young woman. But young woman, she can't give birth. My mother, your mother, your sister, if she is a young woman, she is young. But women, she is a woman. What women mean? Women mean at least she have her period. She can get. She can get. She can break it to net. So where is the miracle? So you are telling me that it's a miracle for a young woman to give birth? Are you stupid or what? Obviously you are. All young women they can give birth unless they have a health problem. So because they are so desperate. You see, we did not even go and they check the translation. I, I'm just going with them. I'm just going with their lies. Then what is the sign? Sign, I will give you a sign. I will give you a sign. That is something never happened. This is what the sign is. Otherwise, imagine I say to you, the sign, it is the, 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 the bill of the school. But the, the, the bill of the school ring every 15 minutes. What, what is this sign, this miracle, it have, it have to be never happened to the point we know that this is not, that that's it. Otherwise, it's not a sign. Otherwise, if this is a young woman giving birth to a child, that's mean the sign happened every two seconds. How many young women every second in this world give birth? So, look like the God here, according to this false rabbi, false teacher, God giving us a sign every two seconds. That is a very stupid statement. So I made this video just to show you that those people are not trustworthy. They are saying stupid things. They are so desperate trying to find a solution how we can answer the Christians. And they try to replace words in the Bible saying it does not mean so. Think that they are the only one who speak Hebrew. And at the same time, we find that even that, that most of their books is not even in Hebrew. It is in Aramaic. So, stupidity cannot take over the truth, and we will not allow that to happen. Uh, don't let them fool you by claiming to be a rabbi. They are corrupt, 
and corruption is their flag most of those people they do business like jewelry business they work in Asia and they use the title of uh, a rabbi to a respect to get connection uh, to enter into the high class society rabbi you know I'm a rabbi so like rabbi to Riva singer you know what he do what he do for a living in uh, in uh, in Indonesia he live in Indonesia what what a Jewish rabbi do in Indonesia he work he have a business and the business is jewelry so for them it is an access of money access of wealth same time they are trying to create a Jewish cult uh, their own cult because according to Judaism by the way you cannot convert people to Judaism there's no conversion for the Jews so this is a cult this is against even the teaching of the Jews to be a Jew you have to be from the children of Israel if you are not from the children of Israel you are not considered anything else is false even the Quran the book of the Muslims called the Jews the children of Israel so you have to be from the children of Isaiah and Israel the children of uh, 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 Jacob the children of Isaiah and then you can be considered from the Jew actually the word Jew is not even totally accurate so the conversion they try to do is based on the how the how the press they are trying to increase their number you know we know that maybe maybe 97 percent of the Jews in the world they became a Christians so how we can solve this problem eh, try to resist but it's not working sooner or later all of Israel is going to be a Christian country you like it or not it's a fact uh, I hope I did answer this uh, question um, I did not take a rest yet and you can tell from my voice however if you are a rabbi from those who claim to be a rabbi give us a call I mean give us a call what you will lose you speak Hebrew you will win I mean language in your side so let us see how good you can do hmm? and we will replace for you the word version to young and we will replace for you the word pierced my hands and my feet to like a lion and let us see what you come with we want to enjoy this all right so be the man whoever you are the same as the Muslim Abdul who keep texting me in Facebook he want to challenge me to debate him in text in Facebook but the coward I called him in Skype many time he the one he, he never answer so uh, uh, you, you see don't don't let them fool you the answer is just in the front of your eyes that is a miracle that is not a normal thing to happen and then if you replace it with young women shall conceive a child that will be very funny same time what you will do with the word his name should be called Emmanuel because that means God is with us which means this child is going to be God he is God do you see what do you know what Emmanuel will mean I mean I did not go in details and everything what Emmanuel will mean Emmanuel mean God is with us so this child we are talking about he have to be accepted by the Jews as God is with us he is God and this is why this is why it is a sign for this sign is speaking about special person who will be born and he is going to be named his name is God is with us for he is God who is with us so every statement in this verse is speaking about Jesus but they are trying to resist that it doesn't work nice try thank you for watching this video uh, I'm not going to keep it uh, on air for long please download the video share it with your friends uh, you know and the reason you know sometimes they flag our videos so let us download the video share it around and get those false teachers busted I'm not going to play the rest because the rest I, I did uh, it's about to to Riva singer the idiot I'd get I got him busted already many many time in the videos about what he say this guy is even more more stupid actually this guy he said that the word ikhad does not mean one you know nowhere in the Bible it says I don't actually know he said the word ikhad does not mean uh, uh, unity like uh, to unify uh, uh, the word echad in the Bible it means one only nowhere in the Bible it says 
that the word ikhad means two became one and there is tons of verses and I get him busted like you know isn't it the Old Testament says that the man and the women they get married and became a god what a big fat liar you are so the man and the women are one person are they really or they are two who became a god which mean became one so liars we get them busted so easy those are businessmen and their teaching have no value but this is why you have to be careful from those false pe people don't uh, you know many naive Christians in in Philippine when they see some rabbi because they love they love they love Israel you know so when they see a rabbi they, th they think they think as Jesus said those are sheep but the fact they are sheep by clothing but they are wolves underneath thank you for watching and don't forget please to download the video immediately as soon it is available for you to download and share it everywhere because I'm not going to keep it in my channel I will post it to my Facebook and the other Facebook in minds and I want you to share it everywhere and this why I'm saying I'm going to delete it to be sure that you guys you are going to download it thank you and may the Lord bless you all and this is a Christian Prince love every Jew and because we love you we would like to save you and invite you to believe in the Messiah your Savior waiting for the coming Messiah as the Jews they want that the Messiah will come and he will ride his donkey imagine the Messiah in the year 2018 will be riding a donkey the Messiah in 2018 is going to be crucified I mean you you people are out 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 of your mind wake up do you think really the Messiah will come in a donkey I mean can't he take a taxi I mean, can you change the verses in the Bible and make it a taxi for God's sake? So those those verses which you believe in about the coming Messiah, it doesn't work for today. It have to be about the Messiah. So wake up and don't be stupid. Use your intelligence if you have one. Thank you very much. And may the Lord bless you all. And don't forget, please, to download the video and share it with your friends. Thank you. And see you soon again. Bye-bye.